All right, guys, here's my 2015 Outback rigged out for saltwater and deep ocean fishing. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me show you all my uh, accessories. Starting at the back, I put a cleat there. I can use that to tie down the yak to the truck. Made this uh, flag, it's got a strobe light white light and a strobe light got uh, reflectors you need that when you're out in the ocean <clears throat> got some uh, scupper hole plugs that I made out of foam golf balls don't really need them here in South Florida but you never know it does get cold here's my Vittles dog food Vittle vault dog food container keep a little net keep a billy club there um, on the other side I got a homemade gaff that I made from a paint roller and the uh, pump just lays over the side right here I've got uh, strap eyes everywhere I put these stainless clips on here so I can uh, hook up with extra bungee cords if I need to here's my rocket launchers my uh, my brother-in-law Tim milled them down to where they fit perfect had to take a few thousandths off of there to get them to fit into the rod holders so a uh, little plug for Florida kayak anglers and here's my uh, <clears throat> my downrigger Scotty Lake uh, Lake Troller I think it is I got two mounts right here put a rod hold here I actually had the uh, downrigger back here but I like it up here because it's easier to crank in instead of back here behind me I don't have to reach behind me um, there's my new H bar that I made from my mom's walker got rod leashes everywhere everywhere there's a rod holder I got a rod leash another homemade rocket launcher that's my homemade H bar I'm gonna go try it out right now obviously my PFD radio whistle I keep this around my neck it's got a knife and a pair of pliers and a whistle on it always keep that around my neck here's my outriggers I copied those from the uh, ones from Yak Gear those are Scotty rod holders flush mount 30 inch 31 inch tubes right there and uh, on my outrigger video I've got uh, the link to where I bought those at I think they were five bucks a piece and change six bucks and uh, got my anchor trolley right here on the side Florida Florida Everglades we go bass fishing out there front hatch I found a little dollar little tub at uh, dollar store actually wish I could somehow use a heat gun and make it fit right there instead of paying 50 bucks for the Hobie one um, there's my other outrigger on the other side I uh, got another rocket launcher here and right here is another Scotty mount which I put in here uh, to be able to hold my depth finder this is a Scotty universal depth finder mount which works great it's right down in there of course the uh, H bar kind of gets in the way a little bit but that's okay <coughs> um, got a couple other Scotty mount accessories here I think this is a clip lock and then I have this piece here that actually went to the bottom of this uh, fish finder mount that I took off but I keep it in my uh, bucket to use for something I'll figure it out right here is uh, obviously my center hatch what I do is put my battery in there I cut out uh, 
the divider here and I put my fish finder battery right in there. It lasts forever. It's a 8 amp 12 volt battery. Thing lasts forever. And over here I've got my uh, rocket launcher in the back. I've got another Scotty mount here that I can put a rod holder on, whatever, flag, uh, whatever. And uh, that's it. That's my ocean fishing kayak that I use here in South Florida. Also good for the flats, the keys. Can't wait to try my new homemade H-bar that I made out of a walker. Don't know if I'll need the uh, outriggers, but we'll give it a try. There's my cart, made them out of uh, inner tubes, 12 inch inner tubes. They work great on the beach. Didn't have to spend hundred and something dollars for wheelies. I just made them out of some plywood, 10 inch hubs and some inner tubes. And these are my milk crates. I've got, uh, if I'm not using my live well there, which is a six volt system, obviously you'll see my videos online. I have my uh, crates here, which this is a double crate. Keep all my uh, stuff in the top there that I'm uh, using all the time. Leaders, leader material, things of that nature. In the bottom section, I've got uh, my fish bag, my uh, drift sock, dog food container full of uh, skirts and stuff. So that's my uh, dual milk crate. And of course I have another one that uh, I use on my other kayak. I've got uh, some kingfish rigs in here that I keep in these plastic tubes. I got another big drift chute here. This is like a four footer. Some straps. And also I have a bailing device. That's my sponge right there. I've got four sponges that I sewed up and put inside of a chamois cloth. So there you go guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys get some good ideas. And uh Thanks for your tips. Had, had it not been for you guys and your tips, I would have never been able to do some of these things. And I really appreciate you guys and uh, your ingenuity. So let me go try this new H-bar out and we'll let you know how it goes.